Hello everyone! For today's video, I will show you the pregnancy development of Tundra. During her first week of pregnancy, she was mostly sleeping and she really didn't have any appetite. Even if you give her a meat, she really wouldn't eat it. The gestation period for dogs is approximately 9 weeks. But in that time, the most incredible transformation occurs. And once the puppy is born, it goes through even more growth and development before joining you in its new home. Starting on day 1, breeding takes place. Within a few days, through the first week, the sperm reaches the eggs, and fertilization occurs. You may not expect any changes in your dog's appearance or behavior. On days 8 to 14, the fertilized eggs make their way to the uterus for implantation. You may notice behavioral changes in your dog that represent the first signs of pregnancy. For example, she may become moody or more affectionate. On her second week of pregnancy, she became sick and had a kennel cough. So, we had to isolate her. The treatment took longer because the medications that was given to her was limited because of her pregnancy. Thankfully, on her 40th day of pregnancy, the kennel cough was cured. On days 15 to 21, your dog may begin to display mood swings, appetite changes, and breast tissue development. At this point, implantation has taken place, and the embryos begin to develop. By days 25 to 28 of gestation, a veterinarian can feel the growing embryos with her hands, and can detect heartbeats with an ultrasound. In the coming days, increasing fluid in the uterus will prevent the palpitation of the puppies until closer to delivery. Your dog's appetite will increase as her litter's development continues at a remarkable pace. During the fourth week of pregnancy, it is recommended to feed your pregnant dog high-quality puppy food to ensure her nutritional needs are met. In the fifth week, the dog is now in stage 2 of the pregnancy. In this stage, the term for her yet-to-be-born puppies changes from embryos to fetuses. As the fetuses continue to grow and develop organs, they will increase dramatically in weight, as much as 75%, and your dog's belly will become noticeably larger. You may notice that she starts to eat smaller meals more often throughout the day. On days 36 to 42, the pups continue to grow, and pigmentation develops. The eyes now have leads and remain sealed until approximately 10 days after birth. Your dog may be noticeably more uncomfortable at this point. She may also vomit occasionally due to the extra pressure against her stomach. In addition, you may notice clear fluid discharge from her vulva, which is normal. Also, in this week, the coats and skeletons of the fetuses are developing as your dog's belly becomes larger and more rigid and she might become uncomfortable depending on how many are in her litter and their sizes. Thundra began nesting on June 16, which is her 54th day of pregnancy. Her milk production started on June 20, which is her 58th day of pregnancy. And her temperature drop began on June 23, which is her 61st day of pregnancy. On her 7th week of pregnancy, I noticed that her breast tissue is swollen, her nipples are prominent and dark, and I noticed that colostrum, a cloudy fluid known as first milk, leaking from her nipples. She may start to shed the hair from her belly. You may also be able to see and feel the fetuses move beneath her skin. In this stage, puppies are well developed and now begin attaining size in preparation for birth. This is when we can feel the puppies move in our dog's abdomen. You may notice that your dog is noticeably tired and may begin searching for a place to whelp. It is time to set up a whelping box.
On days 50 to 56, the puppies have fur and are now crowded in the uterus. You may notice a lot of activity as they get into position for the coming birth. Your dog may begin digging the bedding in the whelping box. This is natural nesting behavior. Allow her to feed freely as she is able. This is her first day of milk production. You can check by gently pressing her nipples and see if there's a milk coming out. During her ninth week of pregnancy, we started taking her temperature daily. The normal temperature is 38 to 38.8 degrees Celsius. Prior to delivery, her temperature will drop by a few degrees. The temperature will most likely drop to 37 degrees Celsius and below. That's a sign that labor is very close. It will usually start within 24 hours. Once labor begins, it is important to keep an eye on your dog's progress. Limit any strenuous activity during the first two weeks of pregnancy to ensure implantation takes place. After the first two weeks, it's okay to resume normal activities within reason. Once a pregnant dog's belly begins to show, it's a good idea to limit her exercise to gentle walks to maintain her muscle tone without putting her under too much stress. On her 62nd day of pregnancy, I noticed that she started panting, so we decided to take her temperature. Her temperature dropped from 38 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius, which means that labor will begin in 12 to 24 hours. An early pregnancy checkup and good communication with your vet are generally all that is required to make sure that pregnancy develops as it should. Call your veterinarian if your dog displays any unusual behaviors or displays signs of distress. Do not give vaccinations to pregnant dogs. Some parasites, such as roundworms, can be passed from mother to puppies within the womb. Therefore, you can deworm your dog after her sixth week of pregnancy. Talk to your vet about which products are safe to use. A day before her ninth week of pregnancy, we notice excessive panting and more production of milk. One thing that I noticed on my dogs during their labor time is that they always stay beside me, which is good because I can check on them from time to time. Today is June 25, which is her 63rd day of pregnancy, and all the signs of labor has shown except for water break. Our veterinarian told us that when water break happens, we should immediately bring her to the clinic. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video. Thank you.